In my last video, I showed you how to dress a cardboard loom by putting your warp strings on. So now I want to show you how to start the actual weaving. When we're finished, we will have a weaving that you could use as a pot holder or something like that if you want by just leaving the ends like this. So we will eventually, as you can see, be taking it off of the loom. Um, or you could add fringe to the bottom and later I'll show you how you can tie a dowel rod to the top and use it as a wall hanging. But for now I just want to show you how to start the weaving. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my yarn ready. I have two arm lengths of yarn. I stretched my arms out as far as I could apart from each other two times and I cut that much yarn. That's the amount that I like to use because you can weave for a while with it, but yet it's not so long that it's going to get all tangled up and make knots for you. So I'm going to take my weaving needle. This is a weaving needle that's six inches long, and I like to use that length because it'll go pretty much the whole width of your loom. So I'm going to take the end of my yarn and just put it through the eye of the needle, pull it through just a little bit, just a couple of inches, and then I'm going to tie it and pull it tight. That way, as I'm weaving, it's not going to be sliding out. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to put it under the first string, my first warp string. Remember, warp strings are the ones that go up and down. What I'm putting on now is the weft. The weft is what goes back and forth. So I'll go under, over, under, over, under, over. I want to keep doing that the whole way across. If it helps you to pull the strings up as you go under them, you can do that. Whatever way is easier for you. And then pull through. Be careful what you're doing. If you get in too much of a hurry, sometimes you don't pay attention and you end up pulling it all the way back through and then you have to start all over again. What you want to do is have just a couple of inches, I call that a tail, sticking out and push this up as far as it will go. Really important now, we're going to look at this last string. So what I want to do is the opposite of what I ended with. So as you can see, I ended with my yarn under my last warp string, so I want to start out with my needle over the first warp string. The second one is over, so I want to go under. And I'm going to do the opposite from what I did the row before, the whole way across. And when you pull this over, be careful. You do not want to pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight and you can see this warp string is starting to move in and over, that's called drawing in. You don't want that to happen. Eventually, if you keep doing that, your weaving will form an hourglass and it won't look very good. And also, these warp strings will tend to cross over each other and it makes it very difficult to weave. So what you want to do is just leave a little bit. I like to leave it go out to the end of my loom and then push it all the way up. On the way back, again, look at the last string. I ended over, so I want to start under. And I will go over, under, over, under, over, under, the whole way across. So I'm just repeating what I did before. I'll go all the way across, pull it through. This time I want to make sure that I don't pull it too tight on the other side. And again, once I push it up, I don't want this loop to be too big. I don't want it to, to be like that. That's too big. Again, I don't want it to go over like that. That's too tight. So you want to just allow it to go to the end of your loom like that. And that way, as you can see, this one's already pulling in a little bit. So if you just make it go to the end of your loom as you move down, be just right and push it up. I'm going to continue going back and forth like that until I've used up my yarn and I can't go any further. 
and I will cut it off so that I have a little tail at the end. Again, you don't want to necessarily cut it super short, but you want to leave a little bit of a tail at the end. That's just what I tell my students to do so they don't accidentally cut the end warp string, which I've had happen if you cut it too close to your weaving. All right, here's one that I have ended, and as you can see, I've cut it off so that I have just a little tail sticking out on this side. So I want to show you how to restart now. I've tied another string, two arm length string, onto my needle again, so I'm ready to go. I don't like to keep starting and stopping on the same side because you end up with these tails the whole way down and it makes for this side of your weaving to be too weak, I think. So I like to start on the opposite side from where I ended. So I have to pull this last string here down so I can really tell. I want to start the opposite way. If you can't tell from this string, look at the second string. The second one here is over, so I know this one must have been under. So I'm going to start over, and I'm going to go under the second one, over, under, over, under, over, under, the whole way across, just like I did before. And once again, just like when we started, we want to pull this until there's just about two inch tail at the other end. Okay, and push it up. And then start back. Again, pay attention. I ended over, so I want to start under. Over, under, over, under. And I will pull it I'm just holding that tail up out of the way for now. Don't worry about these little tails sticking out. We'll take care of them at the end. For now, just leave them alone. Again, I want to make sure that this goes out to the end of my loom. As you can see, as I start to weave, it automatically gets pulled in a little bit. So if you leave a little space, it'll pull into where it's supposed to be. If you pull it just to your last warp string, it will still tend to pull this in eventually. So I like to leave a little bit of space at the end. Push it up. I end it under, so I have to start over. Over, under, over, under. I'm just going to continue doing that. When I run out of this string, I will restart just like I did before. Now if you don't want all of the rows to be the same, you could weave as far as you want. And then let's say I wanted this strip to just be a small strip of green, then I could just cut it off. So I'm going to just cut it off over there. And then I would need to restart again.